Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 1999 romance drama movie, named Cruel Intentions. So, let's begin. At the beginning of the movie we are shown a boy named Sebastian who is with his psychiatrist. Sebastian is a young college-going playboy and here too he flirts with his therapist. Sebastian leaves after the therapy is over, and then that therapist gets a call from his daughter, and she tells him that her boyfriend has made her nude photos viral, and she tells the therapist about the boy. After listening to the description of that boy, the therapist understands that the boy is none other than Sebastian. Then that therapist comes out and starts abusing Sebastian. Below Sebastian stands with another girl. He just smiles seeing the therapist and leaves from there. Then Sebastian meets his stepsister, whose name is Catherine. Catherine attends the same college with Sebastian, but her reputation in college is very good and Cecile and her mother came to Catherine's house. Cecile's mother wanted her daughter to be as popular as Catherine, but as soon as Sebastian arrives there, Cecile's mother leaves from there with Cecile, because she knew about Sebastian being a playboy. After they leave, Catherine tells Sebastian that her ex-boyfriend is now with Cecile, and her ex-boyfriend has left her for Cecile, and now Catherine wants to take revenge on Cecile, so she asks Sebastian to seduce Cecile by impressing her, but Sebastian refuses to do so, because now Sebastian's eyes are on Annette, the daughter of the principal of the school, then Catherine would bet with Sebastian. If Sebastian seduces Annette, so Catherine will be intimate with him, and if Sebastian loses the bet, he will have to give his car to Catherine. Now Sebastian gets on with his work, and he learns that Annette has come to his aunt's place. Sebastian then goes to meet her and tries to impress her, but because Annette knew about Sebastian being the playboy, so she is not impressed but still Annette does not tell Sebastian about who told her all this about Sebastian. On the other hand, Catherine also gets involved in her work, and she goes to Cecile's house, where Ronald is also there. Ronald actually teaches the Cecile to play the violin, and that's why he used to come to her house also, and both were also attracted to each other. But Cecile's mother had no news about these two. He thought that Ronald was his only violin teacher. Here Sebastian tries to find out with his friend, who told Annette about that after all. Then both of them suspect a boy named Greg. Because in the whole school there is only one who knows them both. Here Catherine goes to chill outside with the Cecile and both of them talk about Ronald. Cecile tells Catherine that Ronald has sent her a love letter, but she hasn't responded yet. Then in a few words, Catherine asks Cecile to bring her a copy of the love letter. Here Catherine also teaches Cecile to kiss. Because Cecile was very innocent and she did not know all this. Here Sebastian meets Annette, and gifts her the bag, and asks him to come to the pool with him. Both go inside the pool, and then here Sebastian tries to impress Annette, and he also proposes to Annette, but this time also Annette rejects his proposal. Then Sebastian turns to Greg. What he suspected was that he had told Annette that Greg was gay and that he was getting intimate with a male partner. Sebastian then clicks his pick, then blackmails him by asking him why he told Annette about him. So Greg tells her that he didn't tell Annette anything. Then Sebastian asks Greg to find out who did this thing. Greg meets Annette. And then Greg finds out who told Annette about Sebastian. Then Greg calls and tells Sebastian. That Cecile's mother has told Annette about him. Knowing this. Sebastian meets his stepsister Catherine, who was watching a video of Cecile and Ronald. Here Sebastian tells Catherine that Cecile's mother has asked Annette to stay away from him, and for this reason, Sebastian, along with Catherine, wants to support Catherine in taking revenge on Cecile. Then Catherine tells Cecile's mother about Cecile and Ronald. After coming home, Cecile's mother scolds Cecile and then throws Ronald out of his work. Then Catherine and Sebastian meet Ronald, and he brings him to his house. Together they convince Ronald at home that he writes a letter to Cecile then calls Sebastian Cecile and says that he has Ronald's letter. Cecile secretly comes to Sebastian's house to meet him. Cecile is quite innocent so Sebastian takes advantage of this and starts clicking Cecile's photos. Then Sebastian starts blackmailing Cecile, that he will tell his mom that she is not at home and she is with him. Because of this, Cecile has no other choice and Sebastian takes advantage of that and he gets intimate with her. Then again when Annette and Sebastian are in the car, then things happen between the two, and Annette grabs Sebastian's hand, and here we find out, that maybe now both of them like each other inside. Here Cecile tells Catherine about the incident between her and Sebastian, so Catherine gives him advice, that there is nothing wrong with that, and she should keep doing so. Once Sebastian is looking at Annette, then Catherine comes there. Then Sebastian starts telling Catherine good things about Annette. Hearing this, Catherine asks Sebastian for the car keys as he was about to lose the bet. Sebastian then tells him that he hasn't given up yet, and he will continue to win the bet. Then Sebastian meets Annette, and then both start kissing. 
That's when Annette stops Sebastian, and Sebastian gets angry on this. Then both of them start arguing and both of them go to their respective homes. After some time Sebastian goes to his house to say goodbye to Annette, because he was going out of town. Here talks take place between the two, and Annette starts kissing Sebastian. And Annette even agrees to get intimate with Sebastian. But Sebastian knew if he would be intimate with Annette about this, then that bet will win. But because he really fell in love with Annette, so he doesn't want to do anything like this and goes away silently. The next morning Catherine asks Sebastian about Annette. Sebastian tells everything to Catherine. He also tells her that he will no longer support Catherine in taking revenge on Cecile. Because Cecile is a very innocent girl. Catherine gets very shocked to know this. Here Catherine also tells Sebastian that Annette is moving out of town. Hearing this, Sebastian leaves to meet Annette, and he tells his fellings to meet him. Then both kiss and then both also become intimate, and after all this he comes home, and because that bet was won, so Catherine agrees to be intimate with him, but Sebastian forbids him to do so, because he really fell in love with Annette. This hurts Catherine's ego and makes her very angry. Now Catherine starts blackmailing Sebastian, that she would tell Annette everything that Sebastian had intimated to her to win a bet. Hearing this, Sebastian tells Catherine, that he himself will tell the truth to Annette and after that he meets Annette and tells her the truth. Knowing the truth, Annette is completely broken and she is deeply saddened. Then Sebastian meets with Catherine and tells her everything that happened. Here Sebastian wants to be intimate with Catherine, but Catherine refuses to do so. And she also tells him that whatever happened he had planned everything in advance. And he deliberately got them both broken up. Hearing this, Sebastian realizes his mistake. And he calls Annette, but she doesn't pick up the call. Then he goes to her house to meet her. And there he keeps a letter in his diary and starts waiting for him outside. Then Annette gets that letter and that diary. In that letter, Sebastian apologized to Annette. After reading that letter, she finds the diary in which Sebastian wrote down all of Catherine's wrongdoings. On the other hand, Catherine calls Ronald, and rages him against Sebastian. She tells him that Sebastian and Cecile are having an affair. Ronald gets very angry knowing this she goes to meet Sebastian. Here Annette comes to know all the truth after reading that diary. And she meets Sebastian who was standing near her house and he is about to go back. Then here comes Ronald too. Ronald takes his anger out on Sebastian. Then both start fighting. Annette tries to free the two of them, but she is pushed in front of the car. But Sebastian comes before him, due to which Annette is saved but Sebastian is killed. After the death of Sebastian, Catherine gives a speech at his funeral. Then everyone starts coming out. Catherine walks out and sees Cecile handing out a copy of Sebastian's diary to everyone, inside which all the things of Catherine were written. After reading that diary, everyone comes to know about the truth of Catherine, and then she is also thrown out of school. We are then shown Annette who is driving her car with her semester diary. And this is where the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed the video so click any video of three of them and enjoy next please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please like the video and tell us in the comment how you like the video I see you soon.